hey guys welcome back to my channel yes i'm looking like a fitness babe today this is my life well really i was just shooting other content but anyway welcome back to my channel so i'm excited for today's video because we have another shapewear haul i think it was like last year i made my last shapewear haul and you guys really really liked it i'll link it up here if you guys want to watch it under that video a lot of you guys really wanted me to try out shaper mint shapewear so i said who am I? You know, I'm only doing the Lord's walk. I ordered some shapewear from Shaper Mint and we're gonna try it out today and see what it's hitting for. See if it can nip and tuck, hide some things, you know what I'm saying. So if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure to give this a thumbs up as always. If you're not already subscribed, you know what? Just keep watching. By the end of this video, if you don't feel the need to subscribe, please don't ever come here again. I'm kidding, okay. Anyway, let's get into the video. All right, so like I mentioned, I got my shipper mint box here and it's cute, calm. Seems very nice for the environment. And then I have just a few shapewear stuff. I got some different things just to see, you know, what was out there. I didn't know that shaper mint, like on the website, they carry other brands of shapewear. So I was very confused because I saw like tons of brands and I was looking specifically for shaper mint. I thought shaper mint was like a specific brand, but apparently if you get the Impetua one, I guess this is the shaper mint brand. I, I was confused. Let's try it out. So first we have, actually, since this is already in my hand, first we have these high-waisted shaper shorts. This is usually the type of uh, shapewear I would wear. So something that like goes up here and it's kind of like a short. There's like these band things to I guess keep the shapewear up, which I already like, so hopefully it stays. I am about to try it on for you guys, but yeah, I just wanted y'all to see this. This is a size medium-large. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I got that, but hey. On the tag it says, it says remember you're already gorgeous. You're already gorgeous, sis. This is just an enhancement. And yeah, I really, I second that message. Like, I really like that they put that there. Okay, that was cute. Let me try this on. Okay, so I just realized I actually need to show y'all myself in a dress so that we can actually compare. Here's actually a dress that we're gonna be doing a comparison with. So this is what I look like just with no shapewear. We're gonna compare with the shape we're on, okay? Wow, okay, all right, so these are the high-waisted shorts, and this medium-large, I'm even surprised I fit it, but okay, it's staying up, okay? <laughs> so far, so good, this actually feels really, really nice. Let me put the dress down, and then you guys will see, we'll see a comparison. All right, so here is the shape we're on with the dress and I feel like you know off the bat it definitely definitely gave some smoothing yes this is what I'm talking about man there's no like bonage or anything that's popping out of the dress the only thing that I feel like is popping out or is visible is the band at the end of the short so I, I don't know why they did that why did it? That don't make no sense, okay? That doesn't make any sense. Like, why can I see that? Now you know I'm wearing shapewear. But I do think it's it's not super visible. This is actually not bad. So let's do a side by side. So this is what it looks like. Okay. Not bad. I think this is very nice. I actually think I'm gonna keep these. Like these are really, really nice. So, okay, we're off to a great start. Let's try the next ones. This one is all day, every day, high-waisted shaper thong, okay? I'm trying to think of the situation where I would need, oh, okay, I guess I would need a thong sometimes, like because sometimes the panty line does end up showing. So we'll try that with these and I'll be right back. Okay, so I gotta, you know, I don't wanna get demonetized here. <laughs> so um, here's the thong one, and I must say, this is really, really nice. Like, it goes pretty far up. I feel like it went a little further up, or just it stays up a little bit easier than the high waisted shorts ones that, that I just wore. But either way, this does give a great um, tuck. There's a little bit of a, I don't know why this kind of bends in like this. It kind of bends a little bit more. I'm not sure why, but I just feel like the feel of it feels really nice. feel like it's really holding me in really nicely. And this is staying up so perfectly. I would show y'all the back, but honey, 
I have to keep my bride price high now. So just chew, use your imagination. But it's a thong, it's a thong back there. So I'm gonna put the dress down so that we can compare what it, what this is like with the shapewear and without. But yeah, so this is what it looks like. Pretty nice, pretty good, I, I enjoy. Okay, so here is the shapewear with the dress on and something is not right here. I don't know, man. So I think in theory this works, but because I'm so voluptuous. <laughs> I feel like I'm still getting kind of like some lines on, like you can see, you can just see more on the dress. So basically, because it's a thong, the fabric stops here and it's kind of pinching in. So you see a little bit of this going on. Like you see a line of demarcation. Can y'all see it? Cause I can see it. I can see it a lot actually. <laughs> yeah, so it kind of creates like some some what is it called ruffles right here and then like I said there's like this little indentation thing that's happening here but I feel like it didn't happen with the shorts so you can also see that so so this isn't looking as smooth as I thought it would but let's see the back because the point of it is so that you don't see any panty lines yeah you don't see panty lines but I also feel like you know I could just wear a thong under the shorts like you know what I mean? So this isn't really working for me the way I thought it would work, but let's do a comparison. Here's the front, here's the side, the back. I don't feel like this is giving the ultimate smoothing effect. It's not the worst thing. I could, you know, I could definitely still wear it, get away with it. But you know, I feel like the shorts definitely did what it needed to do. Anyway, okay, so next up we have, so I have this boy short. All day, every day, high-waisted shaper boy shorts. So let's try these on. See what these are hitting for. What is the difference between this and the other one? Oh, okay, so it's just shorter. All right, let's try it out. Okay, so here are the boy shorts. You know what I just realized? So the high-waisted shorts came in a medium-large, but this and the thong are both a large. So maybe that's why there's more excess, you know? So in terms of these, they're cute. Um, they're boy shorts, so you get a little, you know, you get a little nah, 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 oh, oh, nah, nah, you know, it's just a little action. I don't know, I feel like when I wear the dress, there may be a, a line of demarcation here, but we'll see. But this is what it looks like. It feels pretty good again. It's all, they're all the same material, so they feel really nice. There's a slightly different material on the stomach area. So let's do a comparison and see what this looks like with the dress on. Here's the dress with the shapewear under. And yeah, I kind of figured I'd end up seeing that line of demarcation there. I don't know, I don't think it's that bad. It's not the worst thing I've seen in my life, you know? I feel like it looks pretty good. I feel like it looks pretty doggone good. I feel cinched in, I feel secured. I don't feel like there's as much lumps as when I used the thong, when I wore the thong one. So that's good, but let's do a side by side. So this is the front, this is the side. Yeah, um, they're not the worst things, you know? And I feel like if I'm wearing like a shorter dress, maybe like a mini dress, oh, I see the point of these now. If I'm wearing like a super short dress like that, but like maybe around here, then I would need these because the high waisted shorts go too long. So I think these are a keeper. Actually, I think, I think they're really nice. I feel like they did what they had to do. It's staying up at top because that's my main thing. I don't like shapewear that rolls down. I don't mind. I don't mind this at all. Actually, I think I like it very much and I think I will be keeping it. Yo, so far, I mean, we got, what, two out of three? That's not bad, that's not bad. Okay, so the next thing I have is this open bust brief bodysuit. All right, so this is what it looks like. I'm trying to think, when would I, when would I need to wear something like this? Let's try it on, let's see what it's hitting for. Okay, so here is the open bust brief bodysuit. Okay, so this is what it looks like. As you can tell, it's open bust. And then the back is like regular panty line. So one of the things I like about this is that because it has these straps, it definitely keeps everything up. So everything is nipped and tucked and tight and there's no chance of it rolling at any point. The only downside, of course, to wearing something that is a one piece and bodysuit is if you're wearing an outfit, you're gonna have to take off everything like you have to take off everything so that's the only drawback but I mean I see the purpose of something like this I'm trying to think of when I would 
when I would need to wear something like this. You know, okay, so there's th there are those dresses that like kind of cut here and then it has like the mesh material. I could see maybe this could be, you know, very good reason to wear something like this because you couldn't wear the boy shorts or the high-waisted shorts. So this will come in handy for that. I'm going to wear a bodysuit and then we're just gonna compare what it looks like with and without the shaper on. And yeah, okay, so this is the bodysuit on, okay. I definitely see the point. I I don't know everything I was saying. I don't know what I would wear and something like that. I see the whole points now. I can see everything. Okay. I do think, you know, I got a lot of smoothing. Everything just looks like one silhouette. Okay, so I really do like it, actually. I don't know when I go outside and wear something like this, but you know, calm. Like actually, I mean it's black. Obviously, it's black. I don't have another colored bodysuit, unfortunately, but I feel like we would kind of still see. So let's do a comparison. This is the front. This is the side. I feel like, you know, did some smoothing there. The back and the other side. Calm, calm, calm. You know, I like it, actually. I think I'll keep it. I feel like I, I may end up needing something like this. But if I were, were to wear a dress with this, I don't think this would work for a few reasons. So the two strap thing can be a little difficult if I'm wearing maybe a spaghetti strap, something that doesn't have such a thick strap. So hiding both of these straps would be very, very difficult. Okay. And then we have the panty line right here. And it's actually a really thick panty line. Like it's a line of demarcation there. And because it's a little tight, you do see a little bulge from my thigh. I feel like if I wore a dress, it wouldn't look that seamless. Obviously these are regular panty lines. So if I wore a dress as well, you would see the panty lines. Those are a few cons. So I wouldn't wear this with a dress per se, but something like this, like maybe a bodysuit, not a bathing suit. I don't, do people wear shapewear under bathing suits? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I don't know, I'm sure there, will be, there are some reasons and I'm sure you guys will put them in the comment section below. As you can say, I'm only 25, please. I haven't lived very long, so I'm, I haven't found the thing that I would need to wear this yet, but I know it's, it's there because why would they make this bodysuit if that was the case? If that wasn't the case, anyway. But you know, calm, I enjoy. Okay, so the last thing I got were these high-waisted active control leggings. I don't, okay. <laughs> What? All right, all right. So these are just some leggings, all right? These are some leggings because it's super thick. There's a thick band. There are seams everywhere and there's a pocket. So I think these are just supposed to be leggings. Yeah, just outerwear leggings, which I actually needed. So this works. Maybe I can use this to work out. Wait, what is the point of this? These aren't high-waisted? It says high-waisted, what is this? So these are some gym pants. <laughs> these are some gym pants because it's, it's very thick, it's not super high-waisted. This is what you wear to the gym. This is what you wear to go running. That is so interesting. Also, what is the point of this? Like, what is, there's a pocket here? Let me fit my battery in here. Cause it's not fitting my phone. Like, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't understand, like, what is the point? I mean, they're kind of cute. I don't know, I'm lost, I'm really confused. Anyway, <laughs> all right guys, so that's pretty much it for this shapewear haul. Let me know what you guys thought. Which ones would you guys keep or would you wanna try? Which ones are y'all like, no? If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If there are any other shapewear brands you guys want me to try, you already know I am here to do the Lord's work. So all you have to do is comment down below, let me know your suggestions. I'm there, I'm reading, I'm listening, and I would definitely try and get that out for y'all. So. Anywho, I'm gonna catch you guys in my next one. Have a good day. Bye. <laughs>